on stealing GSM traffic, at the handshake, using a plane. But um, let's show you some, uh, some Vegas flight imagery. Uh, this was uh, yesterday. Um, that's just proving that the airframe is very flexible right there. This was last night. night. Yep, more last night. That's, that's the a aftermath. disaster. This is in an RV campground, right, uh, beside the hotel that this thing came plowing down in and all the locals came out and were like, what the hell is this thing? But what I'd like to show you guys, so we flew Renderman's, uh, Renderman's iPhone last night and how m what did we get with that? Uh, 172 access points in the, what, I, well, we were in there for, what, 45 seconds or so? Um, what originally, it was because they were trying to get this thing running, this beagle board, uh, with three sniffer uh, dongles on it. Um, but it was a case of couldn't get it to work in the time, so it's like, all right, fire it up, strap it in, let's go. We actually had a power issue. We couldn't supply enough uh, amps to it because our five volt regulator was overheating and literally just, you know, kind of messed up the bed pretty bad. So I uh, just want to show you guys a real quick demo. Um, this is uh, our Beagle board with uh, all kinds of nefarious things that we're neither going to confirm <coughs> nor deny exist. Um, thank you very much, Mike Kershaw. And, uh, <laughs> And once this boots up, you'll see uh, it just automatically goes into sniff zone. So you know how Google was uh, rolling around doing their uh, whole street view thing and they were stealing uh, Wi-Fi traffic? Well, now we're flying around doing the same. <laughs> and not only what that, fits? but if your home network just happens to be WPA encrypted, well, it's not anymore. <laughs> and there we go. So uh, yeah. If anybody has any devices on in the room, you are on screen. <laughs> and uh, so some other really interesting issues uh, are <laughs> like, <laughs> driver, <laughs> that's not part of the demo. <laughs> um, some other really interesting uh, things that we want to look into, uh, especially concerning the search and rescue or for nefarious purposes, are actually radio direction finding to either cell phones or 802.11 devices. Um, if you're some hikers, you get lost, search hey, search beacon. and rescue just puts a plane up. Search beacons, they can say, okay, yeah, you're obviously not in this area or something. I mean, you gotta think if there's a cert, uh, plane crash or something like that. I mean, yeah, firing a rocket's cool, but pretty much the same thing could be adapted to drop smoke so a rescue helicopter knows where to land. That's useful. And also, we think that it'd be really cool if we could host our own cellular network on the fly uh, wherever we happen to be, and quite literally on the fly when you think about it. Um, <laughs> we'll, because we'll talk to Chris Paget afterwards. Yeah, we'll, we really do need to get with him. But we'd like to take his system and put it on the plane because, again, imagine the, uh, the Haitian disaster. What if uh, you know, all the comms are down, you just put a plane up, and boom, you got a cell tower up in the sky, and uh, it has persistence. So let's go ahead. Uh, we'll play some more um, play some movies video real and quick. Take some questions here. Yeah, any questions? Um, with the, uh, that Chinese unknown manufacturer uh, model, um, I'm guessing about three, three pounds is about as much as I put on there. If you put, if you put a, a larger engine on there, I mean really you could probably bump that up even more. But It's just a matter of how much money do you want to dump into it. Mm -hmm. like the Say again? Flight time? Okay, so flight time's dependent on weather conditions, uh, weight, configuration, and a whole uh, mess of other issues. But right now, with really inexpensive uh, lithium polymer cells and those high efficiency uh, um, motors, uh, you're looking at in excess of an hour, uh, especially if you're just cruising. Uh, Again, we put some solar cells it. on there. Yeah. We, uh, we optimize the airframe. Maybe we build our own so it's a powered glider. We can stay up there even longer. Yeah. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, I mean, yeah, the, the altitude. We'll, we'll take some more questions yeah. later. We'll, we'll be in the other room across the hall for. Uh, Thank you. Appreciate it. Time.